Hi viewers, welcome to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel before we proceed into part two of SSIS real time project. So in the previous part one, I have explained about the loading number of files using the for each loop container. And continuation to that video is this uh, uh, project two that is part two. So we are going to discuss about the incremental loading using the slowly changing dimension of type 2 which are used in the real time applications that is in the software field. So if you want to watch the part 1 so that will be in the playlist of this uh, projects end to end projects of uh, this channel please subscribe to make it 1000 subscribers so that we will be getting a community tab. So now okay we shall go into part two so this is the part one video so we have executed from different files so in this video we are going to schedule an incremental loading for this uh, files so that whenever we insert uh, some rows into the files so those will be inserted as new files and uh, if any modifications are done that is updated so those will be reflected into this uh, already loaded destination file so for that one i am going to go uh, create a new package so that is by going into the ssis packages so new ssis package i am going to bring so a new ssis package will be loaded so now i am going to rename that uh, package one which is the new ssis package to incremental loading so s to all so now if you go to the for each loop container so here in the oldb destination so this is the table where the destination we have loaded all the files data so that is increment file so from there we need to bring the data so for that one what we need to do is we need to go for the data flow task so this is the control flow and inside that one we need to bring the only db source because in the previous case we have saved the file rows in the oldb destination now that will be the OLB, oldb source now for us so because we are going to bring from that oldb destination so that is the oldb source we have considered now now double click on that one so configure a connection manager so data analytics as in the previous case so go to the table so table name or view so from that i am going to load the source as dbo dot increment because that is the source now from there we need to bring the data so columns okay so everything fine now what i am going to do is i am going to bring a component that is slowly changing dimension so that component we need to load here so slowly changing dimension so drag that one so connected to this one and double click on this one now and uh, next so okay this is the data analytics again so now the table is so we need a destination in order to load this source data to new destination so for that one i am going to consider a new table one thing is you can create before only the table so i have uh, created a table named uh, test so that one i am going to consider here so these are the things here if you see so this is the this is the input column this is the dimension column so dimension column means the table we have created now and uh, input column means the source thing so date date will be compared key key will be compared location location will be compared so in this one business key should be there that should be a 
that should not be having any duplicate value so i am considering the f sales primary key so in that business key so only one thing i am going to consider click next and now here if you look here so generally you will be having slowly changing dimension in three in two types type 1 and type 2 so type 1 consists of fixed attribute changing attribute and type 2 consists of historical attribute the difference between these two things these three things is that if you use a fixed attribute here so the value if you change in the source file also that won't be changing in the destination if you use changing attribute the value you change will be reflected here and that will be loaded here and if you use the historical ad historical attribute which is used in the real time scenario that is the modified data will be coming with the date also start date and end date so when till when the old data existed from starting date so from starting date to ending date what is the old old value of the row so that thing those things will be loaded so but now i am not going to use the type 2 type 1 only i am going to use so here what i am going to do is i am going to use the location as the changing attribute i am going to use the percentage of standards as the changing attribute and uh, date as the changing attribute and uh, revenue discount as the changing attribute sales rep id as the changing attribute product id as the changing attribute finally units so according to our wish we can give those things so these are the things i have done here only business key is f uh, primary key so next so no need to select anything next next so finish so now automatically will be getting so see here you got an insert destination oldb command oldb command so if you drag this one this side so new output suppose if you for the first time while you are loading from source to destination so all the files will be loaded to the destination if you are modifying or inserting data so inserting data only will be sent to this uh, insert destination for the second time of execution and uh, any updates are made that is modified in the data will be going to this thing so what i'm going to do is now so i am going to so see here i am going to execute that package so now started so it takes some time to execute so if you look here so this is executed see 54535 rows were added as new output in the destination so the destination what we have given is test table so there there were no as there were no updates so these two were showing as changing attribute updates output and uh, info member updates output so now see here 54535 output rows 55 54535 input rows so now i will be going to the ssms so in that so our target table that is destination is test that we are given the previous case so select that one so now i will be selecting all the rows so now see here 54535 rows will be here that will be same as the same as the previous source table rows so this is how you use for the first time but while we are inserting some data into the file so these are the files we have consider as the flat file source uh, connection so we need to modify that one now what i will be doing is i will be showing you the insert and uh, update at a time so what i will be doing is i will be adding one more row so f primary key should be always unique you there should not be any duplicate values while you are using scd so now i am modifying this one as 54536th row 
so this one has one this one has two so this is the new one i am going to add and i am going to modify this as again two and this one as one same as before so now this i am going to save so this is the fourth file so let's come to the ssms so if you look at the destination table here we are having only 54 535 but we have added 54 536 file and uh, now what i will be doing is so what i have added so that should be reflected in the source that means source is the destination in the previous case of for each loop container so now i am i need to execute this one so we can make all the things happen at a time by using the parent child combination that is breaking a big task into a small number but for now i am not showing that one i will be showing the future projects so now see here so these many rows were reflected so now if i come to the ssms so that is the source data here so see one row will be added again so five four five that five three six so see here that is the last one five four five three six so see here these changes have been occurred in the source file of oledb now this is in the case of loading files using the for each loop container but our aim is incremental loading so our destination is a test db so that should be changed but here there won't be any changes happening here if you look at here so so only 54 535 rows will be there because that is not executed so 54 535 only so now what i am going to do is so if i execute this uh, incremental loading that is using slowly changing dimension only one row should be coming into the destination and one row should be coming to the old command one because i have modified the data so if you debug again so it takes some time to compare so if you look at here so one row which is inserted newly came here and one row which was updated came to here so finally if we go into the destination so this is the thing now see now rows will be same as that of the source with updated data 54536 rows so at the last you will be having the inserted thing that is 54536 row so this is how you work with the incremental loading for insert and update and in the next video i will be showing you how to schedule these things that uh, automatically executing every day by using the sql server agent so that is by creating a role that is job role so please subscribe to this channel before we go into the next video that is part three and this series of ssis continues okay thank you so much